Hello and welcome to Wave TV this evening on Wave TV. My name is Nimat Alesh Shiloy and I have in the studio with me. Ado Ilejalu, good evening everyone. Good evening, Ado Ile. Good evening, Nima. How has your day been? Good so far. Okay, interesting. So we'll be telling you what has happened during the day and we'll be starting off with Nigeria, Saudi Arabia strategized for OPEC. And what we all know the OPEC organization of petroleum exporting countries. And there, there'll be a meeting in Vena in December to decide you know, when this story came out, someone said, Saudi Arabia is asking Nigeria for help. And they'll be like, when Nigeria does not even have a ground on its own, you are not trying to, we, it's not about asking Nigerians for help. It's because they know that we have the capabilities, we have the capacity to do these One things. Thing, that is why they came to us to do it. So it might not be so obvious to Nigerians that Nigeria has what it takes to stand up when it comes to cultural stability. But come on. Every other country knows our what, so that's why they come to us. The thing is that almost every con every countries of the world are coming to Nigeria for one thing or the other, even if we too we can't do without them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> also, Ogun 2019, a grief aspirant urges Amosu to support that for Abiodu. Interesting. <laughs> if he doesn't want to lose all out, he needs to he choose needs to, a side. He needs, he needs to support because the state APC has, the chairman has said our our candidate is that for Abiodu. We have no nothing but to support. <laughs> so that's the thing. They've told us either you support. Or maybe something else is going to happen. Although he has already gotten the ticket, the senator has to sit for him. Mm -hmm. So I think sometimes they need to just like do something like a visibility, so like share everything equally so that everybody are going to be carried along. So I'm also should just support them and let everything go. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Boko Haram, Buari Summer's meeting of Lake Chad Basin leaders. May President Marwin his capacity as the chairman of the summit of head of state and government of the Lake Chad. Basin Commission, that was the LCBC, has called a meeting that will take place in Dajamina, Chad, on Thursday. And this meeting is going to be discussing about the troop contribution country will attend the meeting. And well, according to the statement, the meeting will review the security situations in the area affected by Boko Haram insurgents. Okay. Also, a big information for everyone. UTME, Jamba has reduced the fee for UTME. Interesting. <laughs> That's really good. The Joint Admission and Matriculation Board on Wednesday said it reduced the Unified Teacher Matriculation Board examination fee from 5000 to 3000 That's really good. This thing is coming like a few, few, few months with election. Well, don't look at it that way. I should look at it Let, that way. Let's look at the brighter side, that they want people, they want to get other people in school. How about that? How about that? People <laughs> have been going to school before now. You know, yes, it, but see, for the fact that people have been going to school, okay. there are still people that can afford 5000 naira. To buy the jam registration. That's true. That's true. But they should have done that before now. That's just my thing. You know, earlier. I know week, you talking from a political perspective. I okay. get your point. But now, me, I'm not talking from, the, from the, human part, the human part of it, the human angle of it. That they're just trying to look at the fact that they want people to go to school. They want children to have the opportunity to stand up. Even those 3,500 they were talking of, some, some people still, can still afford, can afford it. So you should know how hard it is to survive in Nigeria. If that's what they want, they should have done it before now. That is just my happened three years ago. When okay, moving on. <laughs> Friday really will continue telling us about how <laughs> politics have destroyed Nigeria. <laughs> well, I'm really not interested in it. Because now we need to inform the people. Okay. That is what is the interest of today. That's what we're here for. <laughs> so the African Development Bank has approved 17.96 million euros ring road project in Cameroon. Hmm, interesting. So let me read out the story for you. The African Development Bank has approved 17.96 17 million euros loan to the Republic of Cameroon to finance the construction of a ring road project in the northwest province of the country. The, the project will fall under the phase three of the country's transport sector support program aimed to improve the movement of goods and people. It will also strengthen the foundation for strong and sustainable growth by promoting domestic and regional trade. Wow, that's interesting. Yes, it is. <laughs> also, you must have smart criminal says Ambody. Interesting. Wow, everything is just coming as soon as possible. The Lagos State Governor, Mr. Akil Mambody, on Wednesday urged security agencies to take practical steps to be ahead of criminal elements and as well build on the success record so far in making the state safe. He was speaking at the 12th town hall meeting on security organized by the Lagos State Security Trust Fund at Civic Center, Victoria Island. Mm. You know, this period, this festive period, is a very crucial period. A lot of lives have been lost. So we want this Lagos security to be on their top notch. That if if the if the criminals are thinking a legal security, you get the point. So that is it. So we need it to be on your game. You need like they said earlier that there will be 
it a all their own security exactly. so this is what we need for this period most especially it's not like we don't need it for the whole of the year but this is the period whereby a lot of bad things happen Apple, no this is november december exactly. after december electionary period yes so we do go on a quick break right now don't go anywhere <laughs> Welcome to Policies Update on Wave TV this evening. My name is Adirile Ijelu. Despite disagreements among members of the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption, the Senate finally confirmed the appointment of Olani Pekun Olukoyode as Secretary of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. It could be recalled that the unresolved disagreements among the Senate Committee on Anti-Corruption had on Tuesday altered the confirmation of Olukoyode. Also, Senator Joshua Lidani representing Gobe South constituency on Wednesday dumped the People's Democratic Party for the All Progressive Congress, APC. Its defection was announced on the floor of the Senate by the Majority Leader, Senator Ahmed Lawan. The news was shared on the verified Twitter handle of the Senate at NGL Senate. That's all on politics updates. Don't go ahead. to MME on Waves TV this evening, music, movies, and events. I am Abisodu Oshin, so I am here again to take you all around like a tour through the entertainment industry and events going on in Lagos and outside Lagos. In movies, um, music, we have Wizkid and Tiwa Savage. It's a big deal. They are going to be teaming up or joining Pharrell Williams and David Guetta on Global Cit Citizen Extended Play. So this Global Citizen is a four-track collection being put together by the International Advocacy um, Organization. It is, um, it is going to be released um, on the 2nd of December this year, ahead of the Global Citizen Festival in South Africa. And this year's festival is going to feature performances from global and local artists like Jay-Z, Beyonce, Ed Sheeran, and many Nigerian act, um, artists or stars like the band, Whiskey, Tua Savage, Femi Kuti. It's going to be an amazing time. Now to movies, we have um, our big brother, Ninja, 2018 ex-housemate. Bam Bam and Ifu Enanda. They'll be starring in an upcoming movie produced by Chini Love Eze titled Hire a Woman. So we have many features. It's featuring so many actors like Alex Ekubo, the handsome My God Saint, Ray Modi. It's going to hit the cinemas in 2019. Guys, don't I have a crush on him, so it's fine. It's very okay. Finally, on events, Simi said to continue her live series themed Simi Live in Lagos. It's back in December at Balmoral convention center in partnership with extreme it's scheduled to hold on saturday on sunday december 9 2018 at the federal palace hotel that's all i have for you on mme music movies and events thank you so much for going along with your able girl at the sudden we'll be going on a short break and after this break you know what's going on next <laughs> Good evening, my name is Lucky Odion and I'll be giving you the sports update. This is still Waves TV this evening. Falcao is ready for his emotional encounter as the uh, Monaco striker will be facing off his former club, Atletico Madrid. Um, Cialini is delighted as Juve go through. That was yesterday. Um, Juventus came out at tops on the day. The Reds, boosted by the returning duo of Saido Mane and Joe Gomez, they have traveled with the squad to face Paris and Germain, and that match will be holding today in the Champions League. Also, Danny Rose is back in Tottenham squad as a host Inter Milan at Wembley, also on the Champions League. Um, it's a good one because Man City also went ahead yesterday when they went through for their game. And Pep is relieved as City progresses in the Champions League. That's all we have on Sports Update. We'll be looking at what.
the weather is saying I'll be right back. From the entertainment and sport and politics world. Okay, well, I said I don't know you, so. <laughs> okay, so now this Maritime Worker Union threatens showdown with Shippers Association. So they are trying, they are threatening to go on a strike and they set for a showdown with shipping line addresses in the country in the bid to review conditions of service. The union president, General Mr. Adewale Adenyo, mm -hmm. made this known at the inaugural branch working committee meeting of the shipping, clearing, and forwarding agency in Port Accord. A signed copy of the res resolution by Adenyoju made available to newsmen said MWUN would take on the Shippers Association of Nigeria over members' alleged poor remuneration, remuneration and okay. pension. Without doubt, there are some very important issues to be addressed in the branch. Interesting. So now this association will start talking about their own pension and remuneration. It's very good. I believe in any organization you find yourself, there should be pension. Because never mind, you never can tell what's going to happen at the end of the day. Whether yes. you're working in the bank, the media, or anything. So they believe, okay, since they're a maritime worker, they should also have something like pension. That's going to happen. Maybe after they've retired, they should still have something left for them to sustain their family. Not just because, you're, not just like, okay, civil servant only will get pension. There is this thing that everybody just believes only civil servant get pension. Well, it's not only civil servant that get pension, actually. So some, it's not some other companies do get pension. Okay. You worked this five years in the company. He gets some amount, although we know pension is for the only reason why civil servants in general because theirs is for life, yes, but some is just they just give one big, big money, money <laughs> then invest in them. Bye bye, you are, then you are good. good. So, so that is what it's all good. Well, with this, we've come to the end of the program. Join us tomorrow for another exciting episode of Wave TV this you evening. Well, we'll tell you what has happened during the day towards the time we'll talk to you. It's as good as that, right? All right, ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel at Wave TV. And follow us on our social media pages as Wave TV 24. Drop your comments on other platforms and do ensure you have a blessed and wonderful evening and night. Bye for now. Bye bye.